All right. Who gives this woman away? Her mother was shady. All right, let's open in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the chance to be here today, Lord, and we thank you for uh, Garrett and Nao, Lord, and this exciting day that we could share with them. We just pray that every part of this wedding ceremony would bring honor and glory to you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Please be seated. And I'll begin by reading the scripture. I'm going to read the second half of Psalm 37, uh, beginning of verse 22. The Bible reads, For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I've seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree, yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them, because they trust in him." And Psalm 37 is one of the classic chapters in the Bible about trusting in the Lord and having faith. And that's what I want to briefly talk about today is living a life by faith. Living by faith. And Garrett is a very godly man. I've, I've known Brother Garrett Kirschway for a little over eight years now, and I've gotten to know him very well. Uh, we've probably spent hundreds of hours out soul winning together. There was a time when we would go every single week and we would spend a few hours soul winning on Tuesdays. We'd have lunch at Chipotle. And I, I've, I, I thought I'd heard all of his stories because he's a great storyteller. But recently I've been hearing new stories. I was like, wow, I, I thought I'd heard all the stories. He's one of the most interesting people I've ever met. He's, he's, he's done a lot in his life, but he's very dedicated to the service of the Lord. He loves to win people to Jesus Christ. He loves preaching the gospel. And when you live a life preaching the gospel and serving the Lord, you're not going to live a, a mediocre life or a, or a calm life. You're going to go through some storms. You're going to go through some battles. There's going to be some excitement in your life. And so I don't really know what the future holds for Garrett and Nao, but I know that according to the Bible, God's going to bless them and keep them. But they're going to have to live by faith because there's a lot of question in our minds going forward. Now, Nao uh, came to our church for a few months. That's how uh, her and Garrett got to know each other uh, last year. And um, 
I didn't really talk to her that much. I didn't really get to know her that well while she was here. But when I went over to Botswana, I spent a lot of time with her. I, I got to know her, her relatives and her friends pretty well. And, and honestly, you know, Neo is a great match for Garrett. And they both share that love for the Lord, and they both love soul winning. You know, when I first got there, I'd only been there for a couple hours, and she kind of took me aside quietly and said, you know, she said, listen, Everybody that we come into contact with, don't take anyone's salvation for granted of my friends or family or anybody that bring around. She said, if I bring somebody to you, gospel. She said, <laughs> she's just like, give them the gospel. If, if, if it's this person, this person, give them the gospel. And right away, she was bringing me people and sitting them down, kind of looking at me like, all right, you know, talk to these people. You know, so she loves soul winning. And she loves the Lord. And she knows what she's getting into, marrying a preacher and marrying a guy like Garrett, marrying a man of God. And this chapter, is, it, it, it's, it's been a comfort to a lot of Christians over the years when they go through trials and tribulations. Just about how God's going to bless you, God's going to protect you, God's going to take care of you if you just trust in Him. Now, what does it mean to trust in Him? Well, let me read for you from Romans chapter 8, verse 26. The Bible reads, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the called according to his purpose. So the Bible says... We don't even really know what we should pray for many times. We don't even really know what is best in any given situation. But God knows what's best, and we know that all things work together for good for people like Garrett and Nao, people who love God, people who are called according to His purpose. The Bible says in Ephesians 3.20, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, According to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. You know, even what we can ask the Lord to do in our lives, he's got something better for us oftentimes that we can't even anticipate. When I was thinking about this wedding and I was thinking about the, the, the events that led up to it, because of course the wedding was originally going to take place in Botswana, and that ended up being canceled, and the wedding was moved here. Great for us, because we get to be here, right? But anyway, the, the verse that kind of popped into my mind, thinking about Brother Garrett and, and thinking about Nao and this wedding, was in Hebrews chapter 11, the great faith chapter. You know, And we're talking about trusting in the Lord, having faith in the Lord. It says in Hebrews 11, verse 8, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. And so when we live a life by faith, part of what that entails, according to the scripture I just read, is Sometimes you don't really know exactly where you're going. God doesn't always show you the whole thing. You just have to have faith and trust the Lord that he's always going to show you what the next step is. And we've got to live our lives just by day to day, trusting in the Lord and just taking the next step for God because we know that if we were to plan out our life and plan out the way we think everything should go for the next year or the next five years, the next ten years, I guarantee you that God's got something better planned. So we just need to trust Him, not stress and worry and fret ourselves about it, but just live our lives serving God, obeying the Lord, knowing that it's all going to work out for the best. And whatever God has for you, Garrett, I don't know exactly what the future holds for Garrett and Ale, but you know what? I know it's going to be amazing. I know it's going to be great. Because these are two godly people who want to dedicate their lives to serving the Lord, and they want to be in missions, they want to win people to the Lord in, 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 uh, in, in, in the uttermost parts of the earth. And I don't know what's going to happen. They don't know what's going to happen. But you know what? I know one thing for a fact is that they're going to succeed, that God's going to bless them, 
and that great works are going to be, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be uh, something that we'll look back on years later, and I think that Garrett and Nao will be able to say, like the song says, Jesus led me all the way. And, you know, maybe this isn't the path that I would have planned, but God had something better. And so I'm excited to be here today. And uh, if you, Garrett, and you, Nao, have freely and deliberately chosen each other's partners for life, would you please join hands? Garrett, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, honor and keep her, in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? I do. Nail, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, honor and keep him, in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? Garrett, would you please repeat after me the following words? I, Garrett, I, Garrett take thee, Nao, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. All right, Nao, would you repeat after me the following words, please? I, Nao, take thee, Garrett, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish and obey, to love, cherish and obey, till death do us part. Till death do us part. All right, may I have the rings, please? All right, Garrett, would you put that ring on the ring finger of Nao's left hand? And Nao, would you put that on the ring finger of Garrett's left hand? And now in the presence of our church here, Faithful Word Baptist Church, in the presence of family, friends, loved ones, and the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ himself, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. All right, what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And now it is my privilege to be the very first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Garrett Kershway. Pula! Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well right. done, yeah. Pastor. All right. Thank you. All right. For the day, what are you doing? All right. That's it. Get up.